you look at the history of uh, Chris Pincher, um, there were allegations about Chris Pincher um, uh, way back in the May government, which he denied when they were investigated. They were found not to be correct. He was then promoted into government. He became a minister. Um, uh, so there were, of course, uh, uh, allegations in the past. On the specific allegations, uh, the prime minister did not know. And I think um, you know, he, as soon as he found out, uh, he acted and acted decisively. That's the right thing to do. There is now due process that has to follow. And it's right that that happens. The investigation takes place. And of course, uh, Chris Pincher has to um, you know, answer those questions from the investigators. Well, you and I both know that rumours were rife about uh, Mr Pincher. Of all the jobs to throw his way, it's like putting the goat to mind the cabbages. Why, why Ch Deputy Chief Whip? Well, first of all, you will also know that you know, the values of this country are about you know, innocence um, uh, uh, until proven guilty. Um, those allegations that were historic that Chris denied um, turned out not to be correct when they were investigated, which allowed Theresa May to make him a minister in the first place um, uh, and, of course, um, then to be made a deputy chief whip. Um, on the specific incident that took place, uh, he wrote to the Prime Minister saying that clearly he's let himself and uh, the country down uh, and has referred himself for specialist help. And, of course, there's an investigation. You know, I think due process is important in these things, um, uh, and that should be allowed to be followed.